and developing ideas to promote peace within the Middle East. So that's kind of where, what you want from one. <laughs> yeah, and specifically how to use engineering to, to kind of develop a you know, system, a solution that will last over. Okay. So that's where we're going with this. Imagine they have a huge program at Cal State East Bay. Uh -huh. We've been trying to build up a little bit. It's actually a higher percentage of girls in that, in that pathway that they have at Cal State East Bay. So I think we're, we're definitely pushing both sides of that. Yeah. A lot of our construction kids also, from what they learn in the wood shop, that gets them out, on, it's in, out there with contractors and often the trades. Uh, we're planning a trades night with the H program right now. we do on March 18th. Uh, we'll have a lot of trades people in talking some of the ace people, and, and uh, that's that's where a lot of my students go. I'm a woodshop teacher. Just to see. Can, so, can you tell them what ace is? Ace is architecture, construction, and engineering. It's an after-school program. Uh, I'm going to be leaving here in probably about 10 or 15 minutes to go and greet the mentors. We have uh, it varies every year. We have about 20 students this year and about five mentors. We meet every Wednesday for two hours from four to six. Uh, we get to go on a couple field trips typically, um, and, and it's just these mentors, we got architects, construction folks, engineers, and each week it's a project based, it's a week, it's a, every week they do some sort of a project. Well, since you made project. that rocket car, what was the name of your yeah. car? Rocket cars. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. uh, yeah, we, uh, we've done that three. We've had AC here now, I think we're in our se sixth or seventh year. A rocket car? It was awesome. Yeah, we have wire guided rocket cars. We, we got the idea from the regular rockets we used to blast off uh -huh. out on the quad, but then, you know, we spent so much time chasing rockets and losing them to the roofs of the hospitals and everything, so we, we started racing them across the ground. And then so they crash into something that's catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's good that you feel like that. Oh, yeah. 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 So how do you find the, the mentors, the uh, employers? Uh, I don't do it. ACE is actually a national program, and uh, it's pretty big in East Bay. We were the, f Mount Yalla High was the first <coughs> school to bring ACE to the East Bay. Uh, it started in San Francisco, and it came out to the East Bay. 
Uh, now it's in a couple other schools in the area. Uh, the, the mentors, the, the association itself hunts down the mentors. Uh, and the, in, in the end, the, uh, the kids actually compete. We'll have a culminating project at the end. Uh, the kids in, in the individual groups will compete a little bit. Uh, and the winners of the competition at the end of the local ACE right here at Mount, those winners will go to San Francisco or Oakland, and they will meet with, with the winning groups from some of the other ACE chapters. And then they, they put on a bit of a show there. Does the Contra Costa Building Trades, do they, are they part of that? Uh, they have been, yes, yes. And, and there's a good chance, uh, we're going to talk more about it tonight, but there's a good chance the Building Trades folks will be here on the 18th also. Well, we can help. Sometimes it is. Okay. You know, you've got uh, local 342, the plumbers and steam fitters that have a, a huge local right down the street from here. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, we are, the carpenters are on board. I'm um, sure we'll have electricians, maybe sheet metal workers. Uh, we're just kind of gathering everybody right now. Uh, it typically ends up being, um, you know, eight to ten folks from trades, from maybe an engineering college or something like that. So did you say the electricians, the IBW, are they part of it or not? Typically, yes. Yeah. Yeah. As a person of that local, I think he's a proper cop right there. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So how do you um, solve peace in the Middle East? I have to, when I go back, I have to go to the for his dealing with ISIL. That is a part of our project. It's a tough question. Right? Yeah, I'm anxious to hear your answer. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. I can't wait. I think they're going to surprise me. I really, I really do think we'll have some thoughtful answers there. Um, I'll invite you back in the spring when you prepare. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Several of my se seniors are going to be writing um, essays about um, supporting the president um, and funds for fighting ISIL. They've chosen that as their essay. So I was in Brazil a couple of years ago, and when I met with people down there, you know, their economy was growing at like 6% a year, but they were, they were, the economy was slowing down. So they struggled with it, had this huge poverty problem. Mm -hmm. So they had this really good program to help subsidize people out of poverty, and it was working, they're creating a middle class. But their opposite conundrum was they didn't have enough transportation infrastructure, so they're selling a lot of agricultural products mm -hmm. and commodities to the Chinese, mm -hmm. but they literally can't get the product to port, so they lose 25 to 40 percent of it. Mm -hmm. So the politicians were struggling with, we don't want to, more conservative ones want to take the money from paying support for poor people and putting in infrastructure. Right. And then the then ruling party wanted to do more of a hybrid. So mm -hmm. it was an engineering slash social service. Okay. Okay. Thank you.